In this short video, we're going to talk about how to create an equation. One equation that I'm going to like to make is to convert my monthly into yearly amounts. Instead of multiplying all these numbers out, I can simply do it once and it'll calculate the rest for me. Any time that I would like to enter an equation, I need to go to the cell that I'm interested in writing and I need to put an equal sign. What I would like to do is I would love to multiply this cell times, times 12 so that I can have my monthly income 12 times, once each month. When I'm finished with my equation, push enter. This is now my, my yearly net income. This should match your uh, income that you calculated on the first day. Now, I want to do the same thing with all of these. Instead of writing equals this times 12, and then for here equals this times 12, I can say this is the equation that I want. I just want to drag it down for all of these cells. So you can literally click on this little box in the bottom right corner, click on it, hold it down, and drag it down to where I want it to stop. I want it to go all the way down to the bottom, so then I'll release. It multiplied all of these numbers times 12. The ones that were blank obviously aren't done yet, so they calculated as zero. That's how I would make a simple equation. Here's another equation that I could create. In this total line, in order to find the total, I would like to add all of my expenses together. In order to do that, our word for adding is a sum. So I can say in this box, equal again because it's an equation, I would like it to be equal to the sum, I'll put a parenthesis, and I would like it to be equal to the sum of these numbers. So I'm going to click and drag, and when I'm finished I'm going to release. And then I'll close my parentheses so it knows that that's all I would like to add up. I did not include my net income because that's not something that I'm ex an expense. That's something that I'm just listing for uh, future reference. These are the only things that I need to add together. When I'm finished with my equation, I can click enter. Now if you notice, this is the sum of all of these. I can always click up here if I want to see what exactly I had as an equation in that cell. Okay, this is so low. My, my net income is 4000 but it's so low because I have not yet included other or bills. That will increase later. This one, if I look at this cell, I can see what's in here. It says this times 12. That's definitely, we can definitely do that. If we notice, it should also be the sum of our yearly expenses. So either way is fine. If I wanted to take this equation and drag it over to here, notice how it didn't change, but my equation changed to a sum. That makes sense because this should be this times 12, which is also the same as adding up all of my total expenses. So you can choose to keep it as is. Either way, it'll work out. Now here's an example of a third equation. We don't need to do all these calculations. Excel can do it all for us. If I want my extra, here's another equation coming on. So I'll go into my cell and I'll start us off with an equal sign. My extra is going to be how much I have available to me at the beginning of, my, of the month, my net monthly income, minus the total that I spend. And that's it, just the what I have minus the total that I spend. I'm finished, push enter. Notice it calculated it all out for me. How wonderful. This column, however, is this times 12, which is um, perfect because it should be how much I have left over in one month times 12 months puts me this is how much I will have left over at the end of the year. Again, remember this will decrease once I add in other and bills. Here's an example of how cool this is. Let's say that my bills, I have a total of $200. Watch what happens when I push enter. All of the calculations will happen for me. I have no recalculating to do. It simply added 200 here, which subtracted 200 from my extra, and it multiplied this, added them in, calculated everything for me within a second. Let me get rid of this but because I don't really want my bills to be 200, I'm going to calculate that later. I can push control Z, I can go in here and push delete, or I can just click this undo button at the top.